China is known for many things, from its rich history to its booming economy. But one thing that stands out above all else is the country's ability to build things at breakneck speed. From vast infrastructure projects to towering skyscrapers, China's construction feats are nothing short of astonishing. But how do they do it? And what does this say about China's place in the world? Hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell as we delve into the story of how China builds fast and what it means for the future. In China, the government is heavily involved in the planning and execution of large-scale infrastructure projects. Under the five-year plan system, major construction projects are approved and implemented by the central government. This allows for large-scale projects to be completed in a relatively short period. For example, the construction of the Beijing-Shanghai High-Speed Railway was approved in 2004 and completed in 2011, a feat that would have been difficult to achieve without the centralized planning system. Over 2,000 years ago, the Han Dynasty established the Silk Road, transforming China into a geo-economic center by connecting the East and West. Drawing inspiration from this historical network, the People's Republic of China launched the Belt and Road Initiative to link Asia, Africa, and Europe. The Silk Road Economic Belt, representing the onland routes, connects Asia, South Asia, Central Asia, Russia, and Europe, while the Maritime Silk Road links China's coastlands to Europe. Fast forward to 2013, China inherited the Silk Road legacy and launched the Belt and Road Initiative, encompassing land and sea routes connecting around 70 countries, constituting approximately two-thirds of the world. As the imperative for additional land and maritime routes to execute the Belt and Road Initiative grew, there arose a need for a more advanced machinery to expedite this expansive project. Consequently, the SLJ-932, in conjunction with other equipment, was innovated to achieve the objective of linking three continents through a comprehensive marine and land network. China's ability to initiate and execute the Belt and Road Initiative was empowered by cutting-edge construction machinery, exemplified by the Iron Monster SLJ-932. This technological advancement accelerated construction processes, enhancing cost and resource efficiency by swiftly handling prefabricated and full-length track sections at a speed of 3.1 miles per hour, 5 kilometers per hour, eliminating the need for extended on-site assembling. Conceived by the Shijiazhuang Railway Institute and produced by the Beijing Wow Joint Machinery Company, the SLJ932 efficiently constructs lengthy bridges with numerous spans. A tangible manifestation of the SLJ932's capabilities is evident in the Yibin Jinsha River Railway Bridge Project, the world's longest road rail steel arch bridge. Before the Yibin Jinsha project, the journey between Sichuan and Guizhou provinces in China consumed 12 hours, but now the estimated travel time has been reduced to 3 hours. Another noteworthy example is a high speed rail undertaking connecting Inner Mongolia to the rest of the nation aligning with China's vision of an 18,641.1 mile long, 30,000 kilometer, high-speed rail network. The machine's construction process is remarkably straightforward. It commences by retrieving new pre-cast concrete sections from the casting yard and transporting them to the bridge site where pre-existing pillars await. Subsequently, the machine lowers the support structure, providing stability as it extends toward the initial pillar. The machine gradually advances, transporting the beam as it moves forward, and then lowers it into position between the initial point and the first column. Once the beam is securely in place, the machine reverses, carrying the two portable support structures along with it. After obtaining another beam, it traverses the first installed segment, and this cycle repeats until completion. Following this, SLJ932 repeats the same sequence with the newly added segment. While the Iron Master significantly reduces the need for human labor compared to crane-based bridge constructions, it still requires a crew to oversee the entire process, in addition to performing tasks such as cleaning and maintaining its various components. The crew's responsibilities commence as the machine sets the segment, and the entire procedure repeats until the bridge is fully assembled. This machine has demonstrated its efficiency, particularly in extensive construction projects like the Belt and Road, thanks to its economic utilization of human resources, avoidance of costly scaffolding, and accelerated project execution. 
Furthermore, its substantial weight of 640 tonnes, 580 tonnes, ensures that the bridges it constructs can withstand loads beyond the maximum capacity, providing an unexpected additional safety feature. With 64 wheels distributed across four sections, each consisting of 16 wheels, the machine can rotate each section up to 90 degrees. This capability allows the machine to drive sideways efficiently when picking up beams. According to reports from Bridge Design and Engineering, these machines have become increasingly prevalent in China over the past few decades. Initially, each machine was uniquely designed for specific projects, but recent technological and design advancements have enabled engineers to enhance their reusability. Now, a majority of these machines can be disassembled and re-customized for various projects, thanks to the progress in technology and design. The SLJ932 has the remarkable capacity to construct 730 spans during its operating lifetime. This versatile machine is not limited to building bridges in urban areas, but also extending its construction capabilities to the wilderness. Weighing 580 tons and spanning 300 feet, this machine has played a crucial role in constructing bridges across the Chinese countryside. This is just one of the many machines that have helped China over the years. Let's move on to the second one, called the Kunlun. The groundbreaking Kunlun, a revolutionary 1,000-ton level bridge girder erection machine, marked a significant milestone in engineering when it was developed by the company. This monumental machine played a pivotal role in the construction of the Meizhou Bridge, China's inaugural cross-sea high-speed railway bridge, linking the vibrant cities of Xiamen and Fuzhou in Fujian province back in June 2020. Weighing a substantial 967 metric tons and stretching an impressive 116 meters in length with a height of 9.3 meters, the Kunlun comprises over 15,000 parts of diverse shapes. Boasting advanced intelligence, it seamlessly integrates multiple functions and stands out as the pioneering equipment applicable to the construction of a double-line box girder for high-speed rail in China. Safety considerations were paramount during the development and design phase, especially for operations in extreme seasonal conditions like strong winds. Chief Engineer Zhang Guangming emphasized that the machine's main girder incorporates an open ventilation design to minimize the impact of wind. The machine's ingenuity extends to its radar detection laser matrix sensor system, enabling precise operation in dark tunnels and automatic correction of deviations within expansive cast caves. Fast forward to January, the upgraded Kunlun took center stage in the construction of the Qijiu Huangshan high-speed railway in Anhui province. Noteworthy improvements include extending the maximum length of the carrying box beam from 32 meters to 40 meters and elevating the tonnage from 900 tons to 1,000 tons. This upgrade, a collaborative effort of the Design Institute and Hangzhan Heavy Industry of China Railway 11th Bureau Group, not only enhances intelligence, but also tackles challenges related to bridge erection and power supply coordination in special working conditions. The result is a lighter, more energy-efficient machine that stands proudly as a signature element of China's ever-evolving infrastructure, complementing its predecessor, the original Kunlun. Perhaps the most interesting of these machines is the CYP500. China's remarkable achievement in constructing the longest railway outside its borders, situated in Asia, can be attributed to the remarkable capabilities of the CYP500 track-laying machine. This advanced machinery boasts several key advantages, including high reliability, robust compatibility with various conditions, adherence to standardized operating procedures, and exceptional laying accuracy, as reported to Xinhao. Notably, the CYP500 outperforms expectations by laying approximately two kilometers of tracks each day, surpassing the stipulated average daily laying progress of 1.5 kilometers. This heightened efficiency and precision showcase the cutting-edge technology employed in the construction process, solidifying China's position as a leader in railway infrastructure development. Up next is the Wall Climbing Monster. The Wall Climbing Monster stands as a testament to China's technological prowess and commitment to rapid urban development. Its primary function is to facilitate the construction of towering structures with remarkable efficiency. One of the machine's standout features is its ability to ascend along the vertical surface of a building as workers progressively add stories. 
This unique capability not only streamlines the construction process, but also ensures stability even at dizzying heights. The machine can operate confidently at over 500 meters, 1,640 feet, above the ground, showcasing its resilience in the face of challenging construction conditions. What sets this machine apart is its self-supporting platform, designed to bear an astonishing weight of up to 2,000 tons. This remarkable load-bearing capacity contributes to the machine's ability to withstand the forces of nature, including hurricane-level winds. The robustness of the wall climbing monster not only enhances safety for construction workers, but also extends the operational capabilities of the machine to adverse weather conditions. According to reports from China's state broadcaster CCTV, the machine, developed indigenously, is estimated to accelerate the building process by an impressive 20%. This efficiency boost is a crucial factor in China's ambitious urbanization plans, allowing for the rapid construction of skyscrapers that dominate the global skyline. As China continues to assert itself as a key player in the realm of construction technology, the wall-climbing monster stands as an awe-inspiring symbol of the nation's determination to reshape its urban landscape at an unprecedented pace. Now, let's look at its tunneling machine. You may not know, but China Railway Tunnel Group boasts the world's largest hard rock tunneling machine, designed and assembled with a 15.08 meter diameter and 182 meter length. Weighing 3,900 tons and featuring 9,900 kilowatts of power, this colossal tunnel boring machine holds the global record for its impressive dimensions. Crafted through collaboration between China Railway Tunnel Bureau Group and China Railway Engineering Equipment Group, the machine adheres to Chinese design and standards. Deployed in Georgia, its purpose is to enhance the local transportation system and stimulate economic development. This engineering marvel plays a pivotal role in the Kaveshti Kobe Road project, a crucial north-south expressway corridor and a Belt and Road Initiative infrastructure venture. Spearheaded by China Railway Tunnel Group, this project involves constructing a 9,000-meter-long main tunnel, the largest ongoing infrastructure endeavor in Georgia. Once completed, it will significantly reduce travel time from one hour to a mere 20 minutes, exemplifying China's commitment to rapid and efficient construction. Despite criticisms alleging that this project imposes Chinese debts on poorer countries, potentially establishing a Chinese world order, these inventions remain highly significant in the field of construction engineering. Regrettably, the financial and technological investment required to build these machines needs to be repeated every four years. Their lifespan allows them to lay approximately 700 to 1,000 bridge spans, defining the distance between two intermediate supporters and giving them an operational longevity of around four years. Are you still wondering why China builds fast? You should have your answer now. Do you think any country stands a chance to beat China in this race? If yes, mention the country's name in the comment section below. Don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to this channel if you haven't. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.